Jim, is there a reason why you wish to remain anonymous? Well, I think we all know that the uh, revenge factor in Dan L would be very, very high. And uh, I believe that retribution would be uh, very difficult uh, for me in my job, uh, and I wish to remain anonymous. All right, Jim, could you please introduce the video and describe what we're about to see for our viewers? I sure can. Um, you know, we uh, around the office, we, uh, we started to detect that Dan L. was dressing a little differently, and uh, we were all a little concerned and didn't really understand uh, why he chose to uh, dress and, uh, uh, you know, wear his hair differently and such. And, um, you know, after a while, we began to see why. So, uh, you know, I think that the video will... Uh, explain a lot um, and tell you you know a lot about Dan L and what he was thinking and where he was going and um, you know I would like to now let the uh, video itself uh, represent the facts and the story all right thank you Jim in a shocking disregard for professionalism Dan L president of Exceller recently changed his appearance while the office already had a loose dress code this new appearance was beyond the limits of reasonable attire. We got enough people if you need to. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because you talk to his aunt, waiting for Roberto. Oh. Alright. New look, man. What is that? West side? West side. You know, you could just do this, right? People were left wondering if this would be a permanent alteration of character. They questioned his next of kin in an effort to understand why. Yeah, I don't know. He's, um, you know, he, I think he's just deciding he's going to take this rock and roll thing, you know, full time. He's going to like dress like this all the time. Wow. Well, what kind of impression does that leave on Exceller? As, as the president of Exceller, I mean, the president to me would dress something like this, you know, a little nice little sweater vest, a button up, you know, a little earpiece in the ear, you know, something normal. Something normal. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what his deal is, but uh, that's what he told me. How do you acquire a new partner if you dress as a rock and roll artist? I don't know what Steve's going to do. He's going to have to keep him in a back room or something. You know? But because it's all about a first perception. It's all about a first, you know? It's all People are scared. They were scared of him before. Now, After we realized he was focused on becoming a rock and roller, it became a little clearer. Jim L wasn't good enough. So he attempted to enlist Julio into the band. This is going to be a regular thing. Yep. Dan, it's going to be a regular thing. No, this is, uh, you sure? <laughs> oh, Julio was going to try to play tomorrow night. So he wanted to kind of walk through the song. So Julio's going to be in the band? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Julio's going to displace you. They said that they wanted a replacement bass player, so. Let's see how it goes. Give me an E. Give me an E. So the new band was forming, but Dan still needed a lead vocalist. Go ahead, who you doing? I need someone to sing. Yeah, sing, Frank. I need someone to sing. That's what I'll tell you. Frank? Frank? You're singing the song in the words. I'll word it along. One, two, three, four. Not happy with Frank's lackluster lead vocals, Dan L made a decision. He would pursue a solo career, and last season, using the stage name Danny Parker, Dan L would try to become an American Idol. But there was one particular occasion that was a guy called Danny Parker in Atlanta. When I say I lost it bad, I lost it bad, and I was thinking of anything not to laugh. I was thinking of puppies being drowned, Paula Abdul naked, Randy naked, and I was out of control. And this poor kid, he came in and he started singing and I just went. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah. 
She's a When asked about his performance in front of the judges, Dan L. had this to say. Uh, hard comes straight with two people not wanting to actually give somebody a moment to calm down, chill down, and actually sing, perform for y'all, because I could see the smirks on your face and laugh on your face. I don't know if it was me, the performance performing, like you said, but I would love a public apology on national television. 